that way. Yeah. Uh, which way up we going? So I'm going to make a worktop for my mum's kitchen. So typically here it started raining. Um, anyway, it's a brief shower. But what I do is I measure the middle of each end and then we put a straight line down the middle of the piece of wood. This gives us something to work off and I can make my cut 90 degrees perpendicular to that. Here, just trimming back, measuring back uh, to cut one edge, so we've got a square edge to go against the wall. Now it's just a case of final trim on that end just to square it up <clears throat> and in and out the house, in that house, measuring, 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 just trying to shoot it into the walls that aren't straight, a um, little bit off at a time, uh, make sure it fits nice and tight basically. So we're just struggling here a bit because it's an old house, none of the walls are square. So I've now discovered that um, because of the way the brick piers sit and the wane edge on the front, we don't actually have enough thickness to uh, depth on the slab to reach right to the back of the wall. Or if we do, then it sticks out. So I've had to join, rejoin the um, piece we cut off and then so i'm just joining that with some dominoes and some glue um <clears throat> trim it down again so we're joining something square something um nice to clamp to um here So I thought basically what we'd do now is drill some holes and then we'd clamp it with some screws and we'd take the screws out once we want to trim it to size. Um, so there's the screw holes going in. So now as I join it, I put the screws in and it, it's still got a gap. It's not really squeezing the glue out as much as I hope. So I whizzed around my neighbour, borrowed some clamps and we're worried about marking the live edge. So we actually put the bark back on and then some bits of card as well. Um, not worried about the back edge because obviously that's going against the wall. And then once I clamped it, put the screw in and that held it then tight. Uh, it's just because the screw heads were pulling into the wood too much. Right, so slight panic with the clamps there, but basically we cut it a bit small. Very frustrating, but it'll be all right. We domino joined it and now we just glued it and clamped it up and put some screws in. We'll take the screws out because we've still got to actually trim it to size, scribe it into the wall. The walls aren't very flat in a 400 year old, 450 year old thatched farmhouse. Anyway, we'll um, keep you updated. Now just comes the sand in. So I think we, we started off at 40 grit, <clears throat> quick buzz over, take off the highest spots, 60, then on to 80 um, grit, 80, 120, then up to 240, uh, final trim cut to size, 
uh, cut out little notch for a wire that comes through in the corner there. Uh, just again, you've got to be so careful sanding that live edge front. You know, you just take all the character out of it if you're not careful. So trim the back now to size so it goes back against the wall. And actually this exposed the dominoes, which is kind of cool to look at. Um, just shooting it in now with a sander. I actually cut it so it had an angle on the back of the slab and then just the top part sitting against the wall. Um, more sanding. I had to go and pick up the kids from school as well. So that's why um, I shot off in the Land Rover. So just jigsaw off the corners, just a little round off, just rough. Have a look, see what it looks like. Always take more off if you want when I go back in. Um, and now the kids back from school, they always kind of like it was Friday so they were kind of hanging out to get home but they, they didn't mind they quite enjoyed watching the wood change colour you know and they been coming up with different names for this sculpture that I was just giving another coat of oil to there as well um, my little girl thinks it's like a, a Maori fish hook you know and um, stuff like that and then kids got picked up by my darling wife and just spreading the um, uh, Osmo Poly X um, it's oil oil with polyurethane um, and just really let it soak into those knots as some of the bark there the dark areas around the around the knots on that one and then um, that really does absorb quite a lot keep working it in um, yeah really chuffed oh look at that proper pleased with that looks amazing Anyway, that's probably I'm probably going to leave it there with this one because I've got a sink to cut in it and all sorts of stuff to go in yet, and I'm not going to have time to do that. So that's probably going to be this week's video. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Love you back.